Welcome back, Katie and Andre here with Best Fiends Forever, where we're trying to go as far as we can, as fast as we can. Yes, we're also competing against our friends or our fiends and logging onto Facebook, connecting at the Best Fiends Forever, so that we can check out where we are on the leaderboards. Now, last episode, we taught you how to play Best Fiends Forever, and if you don't remember how to play it or you forgot, you didn't see the episode, you can check it out, it's still up. And now that you know how to play Best Fiends Forever, we're gonna get a little bit more in depth today. We're gonna be talking about the portal, Ooh, souvenirs, what? the blitz. What? Let's get into it. <laughs> so while you're playing, you may notice your progress start to slow down a little bit. That's when you're going to want to use the portal. Oh. Yeah, and the portal's going to open up for you once you hit Shipwreck Cove. Now when you use the portal, that activates Mount Boom, and then Mount Boom, boom, <laughs> destroys the rest of the slugs in that world. That allows you and Temper to move on to the next world, regather your fiends, and beat up some new slugs in a whole new world. Now when you travel to a new world, you get to buy and upgrade souvenirs. This is going to give you extra boost in the game. And as you go through more worlds, you get new souvenirs you can unlock. So yes, cool. but don't be afraid to leave a world behind nope. because your souvenirs are going to make you more powerful and help you travel further. It's about the longest journey. Yeah, don't worry about having to complete each world. You just want to get as far as you can, as fast as you can. <laughs> and with those skills, which guess what? You get to keep your skills. They are permanent and you do not lose them when you go through the portal. And you can even buy some permanent boost in the shop. Ooh. All right, you've now reached the portal. You can go through it, and now you got a souvenir, but you need a slot for that souvenir. So every time you get a souvenir, if you want to use it, you got to buy a new slot for it. But once you buy a slot, any of the souvenirs you have unlocked can go into that slot. And that also means you can have combinations of different souvenirs, which give you different types of boosts. So you can play around with which one you like better, which combo you like better. And what's cool is that anytime you go to the feed menu, you can always change or upgrade your souvenirs. And anytime you defeat a boss, you're gonna be getting boom stones. And now that we've been through the portal, we can use them to upgrade our souvenirs. You can also sell your souvenirs, what? but keep in mind, <laughs> you will be losing any upgrades that you've put on those souvenirs, but you will be getting boom stones back. Oh, okay. So it's like a best fiends forever economy. Yeah, buy and sell. <laughs> buy and sell. <laughs> All right, so I reached the portal, but I don't have to go through it just yet. I can keep playing a few more levels because if you use more skills, more bombs, more gift choppers, defeat the maximum amount of bosses you can, that can also give you some more boom stones once you finally go through the portal. Yeah, and the more levels that you can complete, the more boomstones you're going to be getting for that next trip through the portal. And even just completing a few levels is going to give you a really big benefit at the portal. Yeah, you might also get a big benefit of getting higher up on that leaderboard. Oh, so you want to make sure you use your portal wisely. <laughs> yep, that's where we want to be. <laughs> All right, so once you have your souvenirs and you get powerful enough, there's going to be a side effect. What's that? The Blitz. Is that, oh, is that good or bad? Oh, it's awesome because okay. you basically get to blast through everything including boss battles yes the blitz was made for me <laughs> yes it was <laughs> now how it works is that you go into blitz mode when you take the portal to the next world and you have the souvenirs doing all the work for you right at the beginning and there's a meter that's on the screen it'll tell you how powerful and how long you are in blitz mode and while you're in blitz mode slugs you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know about portals, about souvenirs, about blitz mode, but in order for you to experience it yourself, you gotta play the game. So download Best Fiends Forever. It's absolutely free. There's a link in the description. Slap the link, download the game, play Best Fiends Forever all yourself. And if you're new to the game or maybe forgot how to play, make sure you check out our last episode where we show you how to play the game. Yes, and make sure you subscribe to the Best Fiends YouTube channel because there might be some future episodes where we give you some tips and tricks on how to play the game, something that you can only find here. So make sure you subscribe.